Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Game Chest. My name is Steve. My name is Arnaz. And we're back, Rangers. Woo. And it feels good to be back, let me tell you. Yep. Finally set up in my new home where we can record and I'm done moving stuff in. Still gotta finish up packing so I won't have a tour video out in the near future. But hopefully we'll be starting to do some reviews in the next day or two. Hopefully I have one out by the time this video is out. Hopefully. Super needs it. Yeah. It's been like two weeks. I feel bad. I haven't even been able to do the website because my internet can't reach down here. And I'm not moving my computer again. So I got stuff. We're hooking it up. Hopefully it works. But anyways, we're going over the film GMK. Also known as Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All Out Attack. Came out in 2001. I feel like they missed the monster. Because they say Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah. I have a finger over here that felt <laughs> empty. Well, they only counted the important ones. He was important one? They said he was the red Godzilla in that movie. You know, the monster we're talking about is Bargon. <laughs> and his appearance in Godzilla films, only one. That was Destroy All Monsters, and they fudged up which monster that actually was. Because there's a scene, you actually get to see him. He doesn't really do anything. He's just kind of like, yay, I'm Bargon. And then when the monster's destroying France, it's Gorosaurus. Underground for reasons. They call him Bargon. That's <laughs> uh, funny because it's uh, so true. Yeah. So that was our introduction to Bargon in the Godzilla universe. And he fights Frankenstein and Frankenstein conquers the world. Which I still haven't seen. Really need to. I really do. I feel like we should. But, if you guys haven't seen the film, Godzilla's back! Again, the millionth time now. And he's controlled by Ghost Nappa. Yeah, or the ghost of the people that died in the Pacific during World War II. Everybody's freaking out, well, the military's freaking out because nobody else believes in Godzilla. Even though, I guess 50 years ago, Godzilla destroyed the city, but nobody conveniently remembers it now. He's a myth. So while well, they're trying to actually figure out if it's actually Godzilla that's doing the destroying, because he destroys a uh, American nuclear sub. And during this time, there's also these underground news reporters, or like bottom of the barrel. They usually do like ghost, EV, uh, alien kind of stuff. They're working on a project where they're trying to do a piece on the Guardian monsters. Which is Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Bargon. I like it how they're the bottom of the bottom. Nobody respects them. They're just like the American ghost stories that nobody watches. Yeah, they're like ghost adventurers. Yeah. We want to do an actual real piece. We don't pay you to do a real piece. We pay you to do garbage. That's what the kids want. That's what we do. Like this channel. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. <laughs> and the Guardian Monsters try to stop Godzilla from destroying the world. Which I don't get. Because the guardian monsters are evil spirits too, or the human spirits? Well, they were bad monsters that were killed, but the villagers prayed for their souls still, because they felt bad, and that made them good. And now they fight for Earth. That still makes no sense. It's like me. Captain Planet, but with kaijus. Oh, you know what my favorite thing is about this movie? Is when they explain King Ghidorah. Ghidorah. King Ghidorah. Ghidorah. <laughs> King Ghidorah. He's an eight-headed uh, dragon. Yes, he's like an Orochi. Yeah. I think that's what those are called. He only has three heads because he's not fully developed yet because he's only been asleep for a thousand years or something like that. God, can you imagine that suit with eight heads? <laughs> that would have been the greatest thing ever. That would, and that is such a better backstory than Aliens. I like Aliens, thank you. I, it is different, though. Like, it's cool to see... Starting with the plot, you get to see bad monsters actually in good character roles. And Godzilla's the bad guy. It's a great. I wish they would have picked a different monster other than Mothra, because Mothra's like always the good character, so it'd be cool to like maybe chuck at somebody that wasn't quite as nice. Yeah, that was a little bit odd choice, I guess. Like, I understand. But then they like they still have the larva form, then it cocoons, and then it's Mothra, so But the larva form form still eats people though, it kills them. Well, you don't know really. I figure that's more of like an undertow kind of thing is what sucked them down. They got eaten. They never sure. came back. They never found their bodies. They got Let eaten. Let us know in the comment section below. But for the most of the plot, it takes a while to get going. 
And this is where me and Steve differ. He hates the first 40 minutes of the movie and likes the rest of it. I love the first 40 minutes of the movie and hate the rest of it. I don't say I hate it. It's just... It has a lot of world building. Like, it really has to explain to you what's going on in this movie. Because it's different than what we've got in pretty much every other Godzilla movie, which I'll give it that. Is... It's like Godzilla isn't a dinosaur created from nuclear radiation. He's mainly created by the souls of the Pacific. Well, they deal don't the to do begin with, and then that's how Godzilla comes back. So that's pretty cool. Different. Same with Ghidorah. Different. Mothra. Slightly different. Still not too far fetched. And Baragon's kind of like whatever in this movie, but. uh... It is cool to see the monsters done a little bit differently, but then they have to explain this to you. Daughter of the Commander, Yuki. You follow her on a lot of the movie to get the basis of the plot. Godzilla does a little bit of terrifying. You see some foots like crushing some buildings. Same with the other monsters show up periodically because people conveniently took out their idols. I'm like you just have the one. random biker game that just shows up out of nowhere and goes, hey, let's smash this idol because we can leave the car with the people inside of it alone. And then go drive into a tunnel on the side of a mountain where Baragon's going to cut you off. Because, yeah. And then same with the Mothra one. People are about to go kill a dog. Mothra shows up. Dog lives. That was the saddest thing ever, dude. Yeah, I know, because he's like pushing on the dog and they're like, what's going on? <laughs> At first, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, oh, God, they got the dog in there with that statue. And he was like, the dog's like, fit in there, darn it. Yeah, you have that, and then Ghidorah is found by a guy that's about to commit suicide, but falls into a hole. Or the ground, like, caves in underneath him. Because I, I love, too, that the guy was trying to kill himself, and yeah, when he sees the giant monster, he has a sudden urge to live all of a sudden. <sighs> <sighs> and there's just a lot of, like, that sporadically throughout the movie, where you have some plot buildup, something random happens. Plot buildup, something random happens. And then, I feel like, too, when they introduce the Guardian Monsters concept with the military, they kind of fall in line pretty quick with it. What a too quick concept. Yeah, I feel like it, that should have been the one thing that they would have been like, oh no, that can't be true. There's just another giant monster. Kind of like what they were doing with Godzilla, even though they knew Godzilla was a thing. They were still trying to ignore it like he didn't exist. Yeah, like maybe it's not Godzilla, so, you know? And it just takes a while to get to what we really want, the kaiju fights. Which, for the kaiju fights, are actually pretty cool in this movie. For the most part. Most part. I'll give you that. Yeah, like the Baragon fight's pretty much like a giant wrestling match, but I do appreciate that they actually have the news reporters actually talking like it's a wrestling match. <laughs> Which I thought was sweet. And then Baragon gets tail smash on top of the helicopter killing them. And then the girl's like, yo, and then the building that they're in explodes. But they're fine. There was a lot of inconsistency in this movie. A little bit. And then Walter shows up and they have the knife fight scene, which I love using this kind of CG at night because when the CG is kind of like hit and miss, night definitely helps to cover that up a bit. So, really love that. Thank you for trying, you guys, at least. I have Sam Ghidorah even though... Oh. <laughs> We'll get to that one in a second. But for the plot, it's just for me, it takes a lot of build-up to get to what I really want to see. Actually, I enjoyed the build-up in this one, for once. To me, it was just a different twist on it. Yeah, it's, it's cool that it's, yeah, like you said, it's different. It's one of the more different Godzilla movies that we got in the series, which is one of the reasons I'll actually come back to watch this one, more so than some other ones. But anyways, we'll move on to my big problem with this movie, the suits. We're going to start with my favorite one, and then we'll start working our way down. My favorite one is Baragon. You know how much crap we were just talking about Baragon? I think he's the best looking suit in the movie. They actually pulled him off pretty good. Yeah, I like him. He's adorable. His eyes even like expand outwards. He has a lot of facial expressions. I wish he would have used his uh, fire breath, though. I wish he had more moves, was really it. Because he only really, he did his digging, and he liked to jump at Godzilla. That was really it. He, he had dig and takedown. You Very useless much. Pokemon. Yes, to say. <laughs> Essentially it. Uh, next, Godzilla. I like Godzilla. In terms of design, I think GMK is really cool. Um, some of the movements, though, kind of throw me off a bit. Like, when he's just randomly walking, like, when you just see him walking towards his destination, he's kind of like... Well, it's not as bad as... But I like that. 
Because that's like 54, and 54 just kind of was like... This one, he's kind of like prancing. <laughs> he sure but he's was. he's too fat for it. <laughs> he had those huge hips and like his stomach. He looked like that huge Titan from the Attack on Titan movie where his stomach would hang down don't his you knees. Don't you, don't you compare him to that, Phil? <laughs> God, we'll talk about that some other time. So there was like that shot when the camera guy was recording as he's walking. He, as you said, he's like this. but He looks he's... like a fat guy in a little coat. Thank you. <laughs> but I love the design. Like I like the ghost eyes where it's frosted over. He actually has a lot of expressions in this movie. The head thing's kind of weird. Kinda. Kinda. Because you'll shift and it's kind of like his battle thing where he's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. He's got a little bobblehead. And then the, the fold on the neck goes in a bit. Like that's kind of weird. But then he has those like moments where he's like get about to do this at time of breath. And especially when he's fighting Bargon where he like hunches over. That like sumo kind of stance to him. That looks cool. Like that's how I have my GMK S Monster Arts figure posed on my shelf. It's kind of like hunching over and doing that thing. I love that. Like, he has, like, some cool poses. And Did he come with an atomic breath? Looks? No. He should have came. He should have had, like, that when he, like, sucks in, you know? Like, there's, like, that creep. He know? just has, like, a ball of energy in his mouth. Yeah. That would have been amazing. Be. You know, like, those Dragon Ball Z effects where it's just, like, the ball and just, like, cramming in there? <laughs> but I love the design for him. It's just, like, some things in the movie are a little bit hit and miss for the GMK suit. But he is a cool-looking Godzilla. I can't deny that. Um, next... <sighs> we technically have a moth larva, so I'm going to go with the moth larva because you see that only briefly. And don't look that bad. Yeah, it don't look that bad. It just looks like some of the ones we've seen in the previous movies. Whatever. Uh, Mothra. I'll say Mothra. But I actually enjoy the scene when it actually hatches and CGI and the wings come out and all that stuff. That yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that part's cool. Like, I like how they did it, like what they were going for. Oh, it's hard to explain, but it just looked like a giant... I guess the best way to say it is it looks like the giant Bandai vinyl. Like, I feel like it wasn't finished is kind of my problem. Because he looks... Or she... Is it she in this one? I actually I don't, don't know. know. I'm going to assume it's a she. I don't think I remember anybody referencing a gender, but usually just standard Mothra is a chick, so we're going to go with that. Unless it's what, Leo? Mothra Leo is, a, is the male. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so... Mothra... Uh, what she looked like is she had armor plating on her throughout her body. So she was like an armor Mothra. But instead of like, actually like metallic looking armor, it was just like hardened scales. Which, cool concept, but I don't know, I just, I like my fuzzy Mothras. It looks odd having a moth that reminds me a lot more of a hornet. And then I feel like they should have just made it a new monster at that point. Yeah, they should have. Just made a different Mothra and called it a day. Or even the way they set it up, like Batra. Because Batra was kind of a bad guy in that movie. Like, it becomes more good towards the end, but generally, I think a Batra is a bad guy. And the way Mothra was set up reminded me a lot more of Batra than actual Mothra. Other than just the colors. The pretty colors. I do like its attack, though. Yeah, where I shot, like, the needles out of it. Yeah. Uh, it had, like, stingers a shot at him. Like, that part's cool. And then he takes a hot load of atomic breath to the face. That's another thing, is I feel like everyone in this movie had a useless attack except GMK. Yeah, and his was just like, I don't even like it. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about that. His Atomic Breath. I'm not a big fan of it in this movie. I think it's freaking overpowered. It's it is overpowered, but, but here's the thing. It's overpowered, but the way that, like with the sound effects and the way the beam is depicted, it doesn't seem that impressive. Like, it actually reminds me a lot more of the older ones because it kind of has, like, that fire extinguisher kind of look to it where it's, like, translucent. Yeah. And even the sound for it is not even, like, super booming and the way it charges up, it's not, like, 2000. And then he, like, hits the ground and it's, like, nuclear bomb went off, you know? Yeah, when he kills those people the first time when he uses it. I was like, what the... F yeah, then everybody's just like, it's a bomb? <laughs> that, that part, that's, like, the one thing about GMK is I, the time of breath never really impressed me all that much. It has some cool scenes, like the final, when it's like <laughs> on the side of his neck. Finally, we have King Ghidorah. My least favorite King Ghidorah of them all. Where do we start with this, this with this monstrosity? This is another one. I feel like this is just like they got like they started on King Ghidorah and they were like, and we're done. <laughs> we ran out of a budget. We couldn't even give him a longer neck. It is literally just arm length. <laughs> this is this is our King Ghidorah. He can only look forward. 
and his face isn't fully detailed. <laughs> and he has like little teeth, but only like a couple. That looks horrible, and like those fangs that stick out, that just looks stupid. He looks like a Fisher Price toy. Like if Fisher Price came out with a King Ghidorah, that is the King Ghidorah we would have had. I feel like we want to take a lot of heat for this, Steve, but we're just being honest with you guys. <laughs> yeah, it I, was just, bad. I can't get behind it. Like compared to other King Ghidorahs we have had before this film, like Kaiser King Ghidorah, Dessa King Ghidorah, Normal Heisei King Ghidorah, Showa King Ghidorah. We haven't gotten to the Final Wars yet, so I can't say that one. But they were all preferable. literally all the other King Ghidorahs are way better. When it's like missing half its scales. It still, still looks better than this monstrosity. <laughs> oh, I just, I, I hate it. I hate it so much. When, Would I buy the Monster Arts if it came out? Yeah. But I don't like it. I need it in my collection. I need it, but I don't like it. If they come out, he better have a short neck and those stupid fangs. <laughs> he needs to. Like, I'll pose it with you, MK. I won't be proud. <laughs> I have the Bandai Vinyl. Only well, because it like show up at Toys R Us, I was like, all right, I guess I'll bring it home. I don't have you, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those. It's gotta be my least favorite monster in the Heisei series. It's that Like, I, it's kind of neat what they tried to do with it when it shows up and tries to save the day. And I like the backstory where it's not fully developed. Okay, like it only has three heads, which I guess kind of works with what they were doing of it not looking like a normal Ghidorah. But, eh. And then when they combine it with Mothra and gets his wings, that was sort of cool. And everybody was like, oh, he's going to be strong. He does this attack. It actually does damage. And he still dies. Yeah. The only thing is, like, it was just the moment that head broke out of the ice, my excitement for King Ghidorah went from, like, here to just <laughs> all the way to the floor. <laughs> And I was just like, and uh, all right, let's see how good Mothra looks. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, Mothra does is more in this movie than King Ghidorah. And nope, no, he wasn't. Uh, finally, special effects. Not that bad. Throughout, we were making fun of Godzilla's beam, but it's like it's serviceable. I wish it's they not made bad it. looking. I just think the cho like the design choice wasn't right. I wish they would have made it more like. It's hard to explain. It looks like a special beam cannon. Yeah, I kind of like. Wish they would have went with something more like Final Wars. Yeah, where it's more damaging. Yeah. Well, it we're not there yet, but it's something like that. Well, it does a lot of damage, but it looks crappy. Or even just Heisei. Give me like the Heisei beam, just like a little more solidified to make it feel like it's more impactful. That would be really neat. Um, for the most part, though, like a lot of the night scenes with the CG really helps with it. Like especially when Mothra's flying around, except for. When they have, like, Prop Mothra flying at uh, GMK. <laughs> and he's literally, like, everybody's just, like, watching. He's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Guys, will stand there. I'm going to get, get you. you. I'm going to get you. He's standing there. Eventually, I'm, I'm going to get there. you. I'm almost there. And then, scratch, 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 flies away. Like. <sighs> also look way better than Megagirus. Like, why can't we have that Megagirus? The monster that needed something like that. Like, this is the movie I would have figured, like, it would just be, like, moth around strings the entire time because we have two other monsters in the movie, too, that got to fight. So I could see them not going so hardcore on moth on that one. But they did. I appreciate that. Uh, King Ghidorah, for the most part, I think it's... Mainly the suit is the problem, which is why the special effects aren't quite as good for that guy. So I'm going to give it a pass. Even though... Don't I have you give it a pass? That. It does not deserve a pass. When Godzilla's shooting the jets, it looks pretty cool. Like, a lot of the wonton destruction is really awesome in this movie. That is an issue I had with this movie. They are jet planes, okay? They travel speed of sound, okay? They're stupid fast, all right? How the f does a Godzilla beat them with that shitty-ass beam? <laughs> Where he's just like, <laughs> Exactly, like, they were supposed to fly by. You can't, like, see those things. Like, they're stupid fast, especially if they're flying that close to the object. They could just do circle shooting missiles at him nonstop. No, he's just like, er, 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 dead. What? Well, it's kind of like a shin when he's just like, Bee. I was like, how the heck do you know where that freaking bomber plane is? Exactly. He cuts it to half still, because he has radar for reasons. <laughs> exactly. Like, he knew where they, in which direction they were going to fly, so he just shot the beam and they just flew into it. Yeah. Godzilla's that good, though. No, he's not. He's that good. 
Uh, other than that, yeah, I can't really think of too much else that was really, like, outlandish with the CG. Like, it was just, it was decent for this Like one. I mentioned earlier, my favorite CG is when the Mothra comes out of a cocoon. That... Yeah, even that, like, usually you think, like, Godzilla X Mega Gear S. It's kind of eh. This one, pretty sweet. Doesn't look all that bad, especially for uh, that time period. I just feel like any time King Ghidorah was on the screen, it was bad. It was, uh, so, anyways, to conclude this review for GMK, or Godzilla, Walter King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters All on Tech, that's a mouthful. GMK. Overall, I see why people like this movie. I see why people like this movie a lot, especially for, like, Millennium Series fans. For me, though, it's one of those that's a little bit harder for me to come back to and watch more than once, anyways. Because the plot does take a little bit while to build up to get to what I want to see with the monster fights. And then the suits of this movie don't really impress me as mu nearly as much as most other Millennium suits. It missed. Especially with the ones in the next one. Or even things we got previously in the Heisei of the show. I kind of enjoyed this movie. I've never seen this movie before, so this was the first time for me. And usually, I'll start running on that computer, and then I'll pull out my phone, and I'll be watching and, you know, typing on my phone. This time, I actually put the phone down because I was just enjoying this movie. I didn't even know it passed hour and 44 minutes. Yeah, that's really my only takeaway is King Ghidorah is pretty bad in this one. If you're a King Ghidorah fan, sorry, just, just skip this one. Go on to Final Wars. Uh, but for the most part, I gave it a pass. I I like, it's still it. a good Godzilla movie. It's just not one of my more favorites in the Millennium series. But what do you guys think of GMK? Please let me know in the comment section below because I know a lot of you guys are fans of that movie. We also have a website if you guys want to go check it out, www.superreviews.com. Link in the description below as well. Also, we have a Patreon account if you guys like to help support the channel. Also, down there somewhere. And help us defeat those cards by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.